The Delta variant is to blame for this surge in cases, but the Omicron variant is also showing troubling signs. Yeah, let's break it down for you. At least 64 cases have been identified now in 24 states. That does include right here in Maryland. More than 75% they were in vaccinated people, and then one third had actually received a booster. The good news is we're more prepared now than we were in March 2020. And researchers have been hard at work trying to figure out ways to stop the spread. Yeah, they have even turned to chewing gum now. You heard that right. WJZ is live at new at 11 o'clock. Amy Kawada tells us how an everyday item may soon be a tool for ending this pandemic. Amy. Hey, Rick, Vic. Well, you won't be able to find this gum at your local grocery store, but it's specifically treated, designed to prevent or limit the transmission of COVID. Now, since this virus is spread through saliva droplets, scientists say that chewing this gum could potentially be a cheap way to stop the spread. If we can help limit this and help limit the spread, that's the whole goal. Slowing the spread of COVID, one chew at a time. We are pretty excited to get this to the finish line. Researchers at the University of Pennsylvania have created a chewing gum laced with a plant grown protein found in lettuce capable of trapping and neutralizing the virus. Only when we put this viral trap protein, it works. We are able to completely abolish the virus 95%. Scientists say the specially treated gum can lower viral load in saliva, so an infected person is less likely to transmit COVID to someone else. The protein in the gum blocks the entry of the virus into the human cells. While health experts still agree vaccinations are the best way to fight COVID, vaccinated people can still spread this virus. I have the full vaccination and my flu shot and I just got unlucky, unfortunately, but who knows, maybe gum could have helped me out. This 28-year-old Baltimore woman who chose to remain anonymous tells WJZ she just recovered from COVID. I got the test and then I had to isolate from my partner uh, for 10 days. She says this new research is fresh hope and wishes she had the option to chew this special gum when recovering. Honestly, that would have been amazing because I'm a musician and any option to help further cut the spread so that music can come back and things that we love to do can come back, I would absolutely do it. And UPenn researchers are now preparing to apply for emergency use authorization. Now, this gum hasn't been tested on humans yet, but it has the same protein that's been used to treat hypertension and heart disease. As for the taste, just like any other cinnamon gum. Live tonight, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.